number two. My name's Marge. I'm a Hilka. I'm an empath. Just like to give my little take on things. <coughs> little talks on how I see things and <coughs> based on my own personal experience. My own frame of reference. All kinds of people have all kinds of different backgrounds, economic, social, the way they grew up is all different, grew up in different parts of the world, you're going to look at things different, you're going to talk different, you're going to look, you're going to have, your frame of reference is going to be different, and uh, some people have have a broader spectrum of experience and that's what I like to do is I like to share mine. I got a special kind of way to put things together. People say I uh, last night was the last getting got for the last time. I've been a fan since 2011. I know there's plenty of those that have never seen it. That's yeah, fine for you. I enjoy it. I enjoyed it a lot. I think they did a good job wrapping it up. I mean, really? <laughs> People's attitude about the end of the show? It's more a reflection of them, right? Look at all the people that are disappointed. All these people, because that's, I mean, I look at the news and it's just like, Duh. a million people want HBO to redo it. The last season is good, you know? I mean, You could have done better because you didn't, you know? I think they did good. I think they, I don't know, they were true to themselves, I guess. I liked it. I don't got no trash to spew there. Man, those character developments, I'm going to go back and rewatch it again. Of course I will. Maybe I'll wait until I find a couple of friends and watch it with them. I never had, there was one show that was on, you know what, though, the reigning champion of the best ending of a series ever, in my mind? Six Feet Under. That was a good ending. That was a perfect ending to that series. How many people have never even heard of Six Feet Under? It's a fucking great show, man. That was when Showtime was the HBO. I wonder how many people unsubscribed to HBO today. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. There ain't a lot. I don't know what's going on in the world. I'm still on a media blackout, you know. I don't, the news, it's, the way I look at it is unless it's happening to me right here, right now, it's not in my world, you know. People get themselves so caught up in stuff and stuff, it happens. They don't even know that if it's really happening or not, because they're not there. They don't know. You look how many conflicts have happened in the world, you know. But the account of the conflict is really entirely different <laughs> than what we're told. <clears throat> People get so worked up about stuff that they don't even see to believe themselves. It's quite unfortunate. Uh, we just had that Scorpio full moon. and Man, I just, I don't got no motivation. I don't want to do nothing. Go nowhere. I'm just kind of blase, blase. It's a blase kind of day. Feels like a Sunday and it's Monday. Mm. I've been watching that show. You know, I did a video a while back that says people say get over it suck. You know, life is all about experiences kind of experiences we had, and I had a lot of really scary ones when I was a young girl, you know, they tapered out as I got older, you know, and then they happened, a few in here, because of the, you know, <laughs> I was big in drinking, and people that are big in drinking aren't always of the, you know, highest of integrity, and I put myself in positions that weren't always safe, and, you know, they didn't, never had all my, my faculties about me can't have all your faculties about you when your freaking mind is doused in freaking booze. So some of the things I've looked at, you know, that I have gotten through, 
is I was reminded of, I mean, I've talked about it before here and there, but I had a speech impediment when I was a little girl. My name is Maudgie. They cut my hair short, and I hated it. I'd go in the bathroom. I'd go into a restroom, and people would be like, what are you do? Are you a boy or a girl? What are you doing, doing in here? <laughs> I'm a girl. A lot of times they make fun of me. Oh, you a girl? Oh, are you a girl? You know, and all that stuff. Yeah, these are adults, you know. Kids, you think kids are mean? Kids are just freaking mean adults waiting to happen. I can spot them a mile away, you know. It's all those books about kids that, you know, you don't do this to kids. And, you you know, you build kids up and you try to make them feel safe and comfortable. All that stuff. I'm like, really? People really treat other people that way? They really care about another, other people and put them before themselves and stuff like that? Really? My mom used to go out to breakfast with her boyfriends and leave me and my brothers in the car. Yeah. It was one time we went camping and they went out to breakfast. This is after he tried to freaking kick her out of the car going 70 miles an hour. He was freaking had the, yeah, it was, we were in a station wagon. He had the gas pedal pegged freaking reached open, opened the door, and he's like, fucking driving down the road, kicking her, trying to kick her out. You know, all that kind of stuff. I was probably six when that happened, seven. You know. So then you go back to school on Monday and then go to your speech class. A-E-I-O-U. So I can enunciate, learn how to speak clearly and communicate. And I grew up, and it's like, what difference does it make to communicate? People come up with their own, their own outcomes. They're not even use. They're not even using the information that's being provided to them. They're just thinking up, like, like all the scientists that are like, well, nope. all that stuff in the, all that empty space, dark matter. <laughs> well, I happen to believe that dark matter is our soul, spirits, space, DNA. DNA in space, you know. When I die, I go back to my, where my, you know, so many people know that we're just stardust, you know. So when we take our last breath and we go back to our energy stores, we go to where our soul tribes, like attracts like, you know. I had to just really, f I don't understand people that don't believe, that believe that, what, this is our one-time, one-stop shop. That once we live this life, that's it. We're just, it's just black out. That's it. Nothing else is left. Nothing. You know, with all the potential to create and all the beauty in the world that can be, you know. And then we die and that's it. Nothing else. So everything we're supposed to do, we do it here right now or we wasted everything. <laughs> really? That's weird. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think the uh, 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 I'm pretty sure because you know I'm kind of on that downside of freaking you know <laughs> I was freaking super stoked about that show for a long time and you know 10 years is a long time you know you watch a lot of these characters grow up and you watch them evolve in the behind the scenes you know and the projects that they start to do and you know they get married and they start their own lives and stuff like that and, and um but uh the cool things about <laughs> endings are they're just new beginnings waiting to happen, right? <clears throat> Some things that need to happen for me, <laughs> keep myself positive, that I think, uh, I'm pretty sure is what's happened is, is gratitude. People need to be, remember what they're grateful for. And a lot of times right now, people are just like, you know, they're living the same days over and over and they're doing the same things over and over and you see all these other people have all these wonderful experiences and you're just like what the freaking what am I doing wrong you know what's happening well it ain't you it ain't all you sometimes it's divine timing sometimes it's you know the alignments in your personal chart but just keep trying to learn yourself you know you just think about how much world how better the world would be People just got to know themselves and their own hurts and their own pains, you know? Like, think about how many times, like, people get upset about something, and they're not even upset about what is happening. They're thinking about something that happened before, 
something that hasn't happened yet. They're like, mind space is, is not even where the present is. But what they're doing, something, you know, like they're cooking and they drop the spoon and they just, you know, but they're thinking about, you know, how their coworker took credit for their job and, and, and they just freaking erupt or worse off, you know, you're cooking with your kids and your kid drops a spoon. You just freaking unleash it, uh, havoc on the kid for dropping the spoon. But really you're thinking about this kid, that this other dude that berated you at work. You know what I mean? There's all kinds of tricks that people can, <laughs> it's psychology, you know, it's just being aware of yourself and your own emotions and, and, and keeping your own energy field clear and, and not contaminated with, with freaking the lower vibrational ill will stuff that is yours or imposed upon you by others. Don't take that stuff either, man. People try to get my goat all the time. Sometimes I'll give it to them. For the most time, I won't, but they're just so, they're so trite, you know, the trolls, trolls are just trite, you know, they're just real mad because they're just, they can't, they don't, can't think outside the box because they, they could, maybe they could understand what we're trying to say here. But, uh, hmm. I think that's about all I got for today. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, hope you have a rad day. Peace.